Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about how to create a user story in Jira. In my last video, I gave a overview of what is Jira software and um, how to log into Jira and how to create all the basic issue types, right? Like stories, bugs, tasks, and defects. So if you have not watched my previous tutorial, please go and watch. It will be helpful. Today, I'm, we are going to learn about the basics. Okay. Basics of how to write an epic and how to write a user story. And I will also teach you how to document in this software too. Okay. Before that, we need to know what's the format for a user story and epic. Today, I've taken an example of a banking customer. So he wants to access net banking. Okay. And uh, wants to access his account details and has to make the transactions. Okay. That is a requirement from the business. Okay. Business owners are coming and telling you, let's assume uh, you're working for a bank and uh, you are in IT department. Okay. So they are coming and then they're telling the business owners are telling you, uh, the banking customer has to access the net banking and they have to see like all their past transactions, how much amount they have in the bank and everything. So that's a very, very high level requirement, right? So what usually the format of Epic is as a, I want to show that this is the format standard format for Epics and user stories as a banking customer, I want to access net banking. So what's the uh, action here? He wants to access so that so that what he can do so that he can access all his account details and make transactions so this is a standard format okay in the interview if they ask like what's the standard format for epics and user stories you have to say that as a i want to so that as a user i want to so that this is the standard format so let's this is a high level requirement right so how we are breaking that epic into multiple user stories let's see so when it comes to user stories, now see if you, uh, it's written here as a banking manager, I'm a banking customer. I want to access or view the summary of my savings account so that I can know my balance and other details. That is one of the user story. So here in general, like higher level, we say that net banking. So it could be, um, generally like any kind of account right when we say net banking you can access multiple accounts there but here we are very specifically saying the customer wants to see the savings account and wants to view the balance and other details and then the second user story is as a banking customer i want to log into net banking so that i can view the credit card details and as a banking customer i want to transfer funds from my account to a different account and it is the customer's account account to sum across my accounts it says my accounts okay and then next user story is as a banking customer i want to transfer funds from my account to another account in another bank okay so that uh, they can send it to family and friends in other bank so it's not the same bank to a different bank and as a banking customer i want to add beneficiary to my account okay beneficiary in the sense um like after you write who will get the benefits so that is beneficiary to my account so that i can transfer funds to the beneficiary so these are some of these so very generic on high level business owners will give you like very very high level uh, requirements that is called epic whereas when you divide that into user stories each feature will be a user story right so this is one user story and this is one user story and uh, this is one user story so the development team just for this login feature okay the as a banking customer the customer has to log in using maybe a email id and a password and then they have to log into that uh, the first very first page and they have to able to see their savings account number and everything and if they click my balance, they have to go and see the balance and what was their last transaction and all that. So that is one user story. So the format is as a, I want to show that epic is very high level. 
one epic can have multiple user stories now we are going to see how to document this in jira software so let's see log into a jira software uh, as i told earlier this is a, a free software just by using your uh, gmail you can um, log into this software and then you can practice just click create if you click create i have already created a project here so that's why it is showing here project if you have not created a project you have to create a new project I, in the my last video i have told you how to create new project right please see that video if you have not seen so issue type is now we are going to take story okay so if you want to create epic first we can create epic first so let's create epic so let's see what's the epic epic is a uh, customer wants to let's copy this so epic name is um let's put in this in the summary so epic name is we can put it as banking requirements so this is epic name this this can be very short in summary you can put all that um, that one liner as i want to show that and then in description if you want to add more details about like any um, uh, screenshots like how that uh, login has to be all that you need to gather like specific requirements from the business owners and then you can add okay but uh, name and summary these two are very important and then you create create click create so if you click create it is created and if you go and see in the backlog you can see here if you click here epics you'll be able to see here okay banking requirements okay so now we are going to see how to create user stories okay so first is click on create and then in create issue type choose story and in story let's copy this so first is viewing the as a banking customer i want to access or view the savings account so that i can know my balance and other details okay then in the description you can put like um how how like the exactly like exactly how the customer wants right the image or how it needs to pop up the message and everything because when your developer sees the story he needs to understand what you are actually asking them to develop when a tester sees the story you need to like see like okay they want to create a they, the customer has to log in and see the savings account they want to see the balance and other details so what are the other details so what you can do is this is where business analysts become like very creative and you need to gather requirements for you can provide screenshots okay screenshots for like how that login page should be there okay whether it, it should have a username and uh, whether you should have uh, um i mean phone number or username like whether you can log in through phone number or user i mean any other gmail account or whatever the it could be any username right they can create a new username and then password and then when they log into that very first page right in their savings account how that what what are the how it should look okay when they log into that savings account what what should it should have the first name and then um, last name and then date of birth and then address and then um and then there should be a balance like how much balance they're having and then um so these are some of the information for that custom and then when they log in to balance they should go and see like it should tell like what are the transactions okay like past transactions if there are any transactions the history of the transactions
so this is so you are going to put all that in the description how it needs to look or if you want to attach screenshots you can if you, you, you can see here right it says attach so if you can browse and attach the screenshot so you need to get all these details from the business owners and then you can continue documenting it in jira so once you put all the details now you need to scroll down and then select the epic so for every user story there should be an epic so click on epic and then uh, this has um, this is from banking right so banking project so you click on banking and then that user story is uh, linked to an epic now create see if in the backlog now you have the banking requirements that is created right so when we open this let's open this So when we open this, let me open the story in a different window. Now when we open the story, it is asking for some fields, right? See, it shows like comments, history, when was it created? So um, it will like to, it will say that I created a one minute ago. Okay. So similarly, whenever you are putting some comments, right? When you are adding some details, okay, scheduled scheduled a meeting with developer let's say the developer is like mickey mouse for example so with mickey uh, scheduled a, a meeting with mickey on march 1st 2023 so you are adding a comment and then if you save it, it will be there in the comments. So anybody who is seeing this user story will be like, okay, uh, this is the um, requirement and uh, this person has scheduled a meeting with the developer. So on the particular date, so they're going to add more details. So anybody who sees it should be like understanding what happened for that user story. So the comments are very important. You need to update the comments as well frequently. Next is we are going to learn about what's the priority button here okay if you see here there are a lot of important uh, links so one is priority another one is story points so what is priority whether there are multiple priorities whether it is high priority low priority highest priority lowest priority so what is priority so our development team has only 10 people we can do only like certain number of stories for one particular sprint right for a particular uh, time period we can do very limited amount of work so in that case what is the priority whether the business wants this uh, to be done in next sprint or next month or they want this after like four or five months when do they want if they want it immediately then it becomes high priority highest priority right so that will determine what is the priority when do they want so you have five different projects. One is a banking project. One is a networking project. One is a retailing project. And uh, you're working for a company and all the business owners, they are coming and asking you to do. Which one will you choose? Which one? What's the priority? The priority is which one, which business owner wants to go immediately, right? So if, if all of them are asking immediately, we can't do that. Okay. We have to like set standards and tell them no. We have only very limited number of developers, testers and business analysts in our team. So we can do only by one by one. So who wants to go first? So that will be priority. Next is story points. So to do this development and testing, we are going to put story points. This is like um, very important. Uh, story point is very, very important. Story points can be one, three, 5, 8, and 13. So, do you know Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series is nothing but if you add uh, the two numbers, previous two numbers, you should get the third number. So, 1 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13. This is Fibonacci series. You would, you should, you would have studied in school. 
So story point should be always in Fibonacci series. It's an important interview question. Story points cannot be in other series. It's definitely Fibonacci series. So, so for example, one story point means usually in every project, one story point is one day. So this work can be done in one day. Or if it is a three story points, it is like three days usually. But it depends from project to project. Story points calculation like the the metrics to calculate story points differs from one project to another project and one organization to another pro another organization. Microsoft do it differently. Facebook do it differently. Tesla do it differently. So if, even like the organization itself, like multiple teams will uh, evaluate the story points differently. I'm telling you the standard practice. Standard practice is one point is one day. So can I achieve this in one day? No, this is going to be a longer development and testing. Can I achieve in eight days? Yeah, I think so. This can be achieved in eight days. So what's the point here? Eight. Okay. So that's the story point. It's a very, very important question. What is story point? How will you measure story point? So whether who will do it? This one, like everybody, the developer, the tester, business analyst, they will do the story point calculation in sprint planning meeting. That's why we have a meeting called sprint planning meeting. If you don't know all these terminologies, please watch my Agile methodology training video. I have clearly explained what is sprint, what is sprint planning meeting, what is sprint retrospective meeting. So uh, watch that. It will be very useful for you. So this calculation of story points and uh, what's the priority, everything uh, the entire team will discuss in the sprint planning meeting. So these two fields are very, very important. Okay. So um, Epic we created, then user story we have created, and then we have added the description and then uh, what's the acceptance criteria. So the third very important one is what is the acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria means when we finish the development for this particular feature, how are we going to uh, say it is completed? Okay. So what should happen acceptance criteria means what should happen when they log in right the customer when they log in usually the uh, the summary will be somewhat similar to acceptance criteria but we have like a positive scenarios negative scenarios so when the banking when a customer when they are able to access when they are able to successfully log in they must be able to see the savings account and all the details that is acceptance criteria okay so successful scenario like positive scenario here is Positive scenario is when with valid, with valid, with valid um, username and password, customer can log in and view the account details. That's the positive scenario. Negative scenario means uh, customer is not able to log in. It's it is throwing an error message. So for example, there is a invalid username or password. Then in that case, they are not able to log in. That's a negative scenario. That will be considered as a defect. And uh, I mean, it should be with valid, with valid username and password, it should be able to log in. If it is not logging in, then that will be a defect. But um, negative scenario is if it is invalid, right, it should not log in. Okay, if their username and password is incorrect, then the system should not allow the customer to log in. It should throw an error. Okay, that's another scenario. They can for one user story, you can have multiple acceptance criteria, but uh, this is a simple one I have created. So I hope uh, you understand um, how to create user stories in Jira and uh, what are how to write um, description and uh, how to write acceptance criteria and how to put comments here so that everybody can see what is the update on this particular user story and then what is priority what is story points how important is story points and uh, what's the format of a user story what's the format of an epic so these are very very important topics um, please uh, log into jira and practice this i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching